This is considered an outdoor ceremony conducted indoors. Military members are reminded to remain covered and render appropriate salutes. As a courtesy to those around you, please silence all cell phones and other electronic devices for the duration of the ceremony. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Jason E. Kelly, and the Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Eric Oates, welcome to the United States Army Training Center and Fort Jackson for the graduation of Company, Bravo Company of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, the 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Kiskama Lamar. Let us pray. Lord, we entrust this graduation ceremony into your protective hands. We invoke a special blessing on our new soldiers. They worked relentlessly and sacrificed tremendously to attain this milestone. Grant them the ability to rejoice in this achievement. We also pray for the command team, drill sergeants and staff of the 3rd Battalion, 68th Infantry Regiment, who to the utmost extent of their power challenged and crafted the warriors we have today. Continue to bless the work of their hands as well as their families. Finally, Lord, bless these families, guests and service members and all in this assembly. For in your holy name we pray, amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see standing in formation before you who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation of the training cycle. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the families and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome we are justifiably proud of them and are equally honored that they have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are graduating soldiers from Bravo Company and the Battalion Color Guard. Located on the upper level and providing music and marches for today's ceremony is the 282nd Army Band under the command of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin L. Pig. Identified by the distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected on the basis of professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Tyrone W. Norman, who serves as the executive officer for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, he and the battalion staff are positioned on the floor. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the battalion commander of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Jared V. Parker. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Torn P. Kern, the senior non-commissioned officer master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers not in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Please be seated. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The Drill Sergeant Campaign Hat and Badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, will all past and present Drill Sergeants please stand as the Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment recites the Drill Sergeant's Creed. Lieutenant Colonel Parker and Command Sergeant Major Kern will now present the awards. The outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment is Sergeant First Class Kevin Green from Richmond Hill, Georgia. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Jaylene R. Quichocho from San Antonio, Texas. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private First Class Mark J. Viernes from Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Jared B. Parker. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the family and friends of Team River Raider. On behalf of our Commanding General, Brigadier General Kelly, I'd like to thank you all for your attendance as we honor the accomplishment of, of Basic Combat Training Class 2302. At Fort Jackson, we make American soldiers. As the we in that statement implies, it is in fact a team effort to produce the finest quality of soldier that this country demands, and I'd like to take a few moments to honor those involved. First, I'd like to take the time to thank the 282nd Army Band as always, 
You all sound great. You consistently provide a touch of class and distinction to all these important ceremonies week after week. I ask that you all please join me in a round of applause for these distinguished soldiers. The Army established Fort Jackson in 1917, and while this installation has accomplished many missions throughout its history, today it serves as the Army's premier training center and the largest makers of American soldiers. These soldiers, regardless of the changes in technology, tactics, or strategies employed, remain the one constant of war and conflict. As such, the Army prides itself of people business, and the River Raiders and the rest of the Fort Jackson team are in the business of producing and developing the best people to serve as our soldiers, non-commissioned officers, and commissioned officers. I am extremely proud to be a part of that mission, and I promise you that our future is in good hands with the soldiers standing on the field today. They are our mission, and our mission is critical. When the soldiers assembled on the field arrived here, many of them quickly realized that this might be the greatest challenge in their lives. Out of the 596 civilians that started, 555 soldiers met the challenge and are standing on the field throughout today. They now join the ranks of the military members, past and present, and I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize all those that have and continue to proudly wear this uniform. I ask that all veterans, retired, or those still serving, please stand to be recognized, and please join me in a round of applause. Thank you. Soldiers, you are now part of their legacy, and I know you would do your best to honor and uphold that legacy throughout your time of service. We in 360th Infantry earn our motto, River Raiders, from the battalion's participation in the Mobile Riverine Force operations conducted in the Mekong Delta of Vietnam, where some of the heaviest fighting of the Vietnam War took place. We are proud of this history and to serve in its distinguished lineage. The soldiers in front of you today will later serve in other units with their own unique history and a future story that they will one day be, probably be a part of. Not unlike their predecessors, these soldiers have begun their journey of service to our nation and will now contribute to the history that is not yet written. Their personal history began when they arrived here about 10 weeks ago. The beginning of their training was about discipline, fitness, and confidence, becoming a soldier. They conducted countless inspections, they learned how to march, and challenged themselves to improve their physical and mental fitness. Shortly thereafter, they gained trust in their military equipment by wearing their chemical protective mask in our gas chamber and learning how to accurately fire their weapons at varying distances. They gained confidence in their training, their leaders, and again, in themselves. They learned first aid in our own unique military language. Each completed a series of challenging yet critical Army tasks, testing their mettle and adaptability. They gained mental fortitude and toughness by marching great distances and executing the Coleman exercise the forge not too long ago. Through it all, they were led by their amazing drill sergeants. This group of hand-selected and elite experts represent the best this Army has to offer to train our soldiers. They serve many long days and nights, sacrificing much in the process, but doing so with a sense of pride and purpose to transform your soldier into someone who could one day be better than themselves. Cycle after cycle, they arrive before the trainees wake and depart only after they bed down. Almost all present here today in the stands and on the field will forget my name and will certainly forget these remarks, but none will forget the name of their drill sergeant who remained with them through their journey. They and the rest of the Team River Raider know that these soldiers here are our legacy and must be ready to continue our mission long after we are gone. Soldiers, you've met the call to service and sacrifice that many in our country are unwilling to make. Less than 1% of Americans elect to serve in the United States military, making you a part of an elite few willing to commit the last full measure of devotion and service to our nation. Take pride in the profession you join. Always remember you are part of a great team of fellow soldiers serving in defense of freedom across the world. I know I speak for all the drill sergeants, cadre, and leaders in saying, River Raiders, you definitely rode hard. You met the standard and are ready to learn your chosen crafts. While your victories may have started here, do not let them in here. Continue to learn and develop at all costs. Our country needs you trained and ready for any situation. Remember the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. So remain vigilant as you go off into your Army world and accomplish your missions. Each is important to the success of our Army, our nation, and our way of life. To our extended Army families, thank you again for your attendance and for your tremendous support to our soldiers and the nation. Please continue to help and support your new soldiers. They have become something different, something better than they once were. They are now a part of the greatest Army in the world and will forever be a part of its legacy. Thank you. 
River Raiders, no ground to give, and victory. Today's soldier is, above all, a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in Army values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the floor, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspoken assurance to all who see that you are a willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Private Kunchocho leads the soldier standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the Army song and for the retirement of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the Commanding General and the men and women of Fort Jackson, thank you for attending today's basic combat training graduation. Family members and friends, please exit the auditorium in a safe and orderly manner. Please remember to take all trash personal items with you as you exit. Once again, thank you for your attendance, have a safe journey home, and enjoy the rest of your day. 
victory starts here.